Alvina. And this is Michael. Hello everyone, hi. Hey, you know we are so pampered by Norwex. And we've been invited to this uh, special high tea. Um, uh, something that you know we, we never do even as a couple. Really? Is yeah. this going to be free? I think so. <laughs> Are we supposed to do something? Yes, yes. Um, I was given a stack of cards okay. uh, with some questions mm -hmm. and I have not seen the questions. So okay. I think if we answer it correctly, then we get to enjoy the high tea. Oh, really? Okay, that's fine. You want to pick up the first card? Okay. So how many questions are there here actually? I don't know. I think it's eight. Okay, let me, let me pick out the first question here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, question number one, would you classify yourself as an OCD couple. Okay, OCD couple. Uh. What do you argue most about in terms of household care? Okay, I know, I know, I know. I can answer this. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay let I'm you not answer. OCD. I don't okay. think you're OCD. Okay. Um, but for me, I think I'm OCD when it comes to uh, separation of chores. Yeah, I'm, I'm very fair. I, I will do half and you do half. I won't do more and I don't expect you to do more either. Am I right? 99% correct. <laughs> <laughs> Not entirely correct. Okay. What's the 1%? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do most of it. Okay. Are you sure? Uh, but anyway, it's okay. Yeah. 99%. Then you eat more? La. <laughs> okay. Shall I read the question number two? Okay, mm, maybe I read. Okay, let you read okay. question number two. Which Norwex product best describe you and your partner? <laughs> wow. <laughs> product? To describe me and my partner. Describe me. Maybe you find one yeah. to describe me. I find one to describe you. Okay. Mm, in terms of, I would say you are very effective in terms of uh, doing things and everything. So I suppose um, uh, our mop system. <laughs> 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 our mop system. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That one is very effective. Yeah. I, I suppose. Yeah. So power kaliao is it? Power I can kaliao. do everything. Uh, well, I would say in terms of effectiveness. Yeah. I mean, there are results. Okay, okay, so if I'm a mop, I think you'll probably be... You've been doing a lot of yoga. Yeah, I think you're getting more and more flexible. So maybe an Enviro 1. La, Enviro you know? 1. So la. I can bend you a bit. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. And also I can clean high areas. True, true. Okay. Mop only for the floor. Okay. okay. You okay. want to do the third okay, question? Let me, okay, we are, another question, right? Okay, let me answer question number three. Name us five Norwex products that start with the letter E. Yeah, that's quite easy. Enviro cloth. Uh, Enviro one. Uh, Enviro scrub. Enviro sponge. <laughs> Enviro sponge, yeah, that's correct. Oh, another E. You want a hint? Yeah, what, what would that be? Oh, the Enviro sleeve. Ah, okay, wow, okay. Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> okay, I've been using the sleeve though. Yeah, yeah okay. you've, you've been using yeah, only yeah, the yeah, sleeve. Yeah. I've been yeah. using the sleeve. The sleeves okay. are really, really effective. Okay. Let me yeah. try the next okay. okay, what do you think you would be doing if you're not doing Norwex? Do I have to make money? <laughs> if you don't make money, then I have to make money. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Not doing Norwex. Obviously, it's just yoga, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose so. Lah. Yeah, if not Norwex, I suppose it's yoga. I think I'll do my sourdough. Uh, I'll just uh, continue to teach people how to bake sourdough. Yeah. Won't, won't earn a lot, but I think it's, uh, it's still very fulfilling. What's the next one? You want to next pick one? up? Okay, next question. Oh, it's a tea break! <laughs> oh, finally! <laughs> okay, question number five. Tough question more. What would you do differently if you had to start your Norwex journey again? What would you do differently? Mm. Okay. You always say that I'm very, very committed, and I am, right? I'm very mm. committed, but I think I also do get a bit of a stress, you know, a bit stressed up whenever mm -hmm. things don't work out the way I wanted it. So if I were to start this business all over again, I think obviously I still will be 100% committed and involved, mm -hmm. but I will not be attached to any results or I would not have any expectation because um, 
just by being involved, I think that's more than enough for the business. Okay. Right? Do you have anything to add? Being 100% involved and not being attached sounds like the super power oil man to me. <laughs> you know, we have super, super, like superman, we have spider man, you know. And I think whatever you say sounds like an oil man to me, you know, it's like you are very effective at the same time, you're not attached to anything. Because I think a lot of times, um, I tend to be very preemptive, correct, right? Correct. Like, yeah. you know, even when you were trying to do something and I know yeah. that um, probably that's not the best way, mm -hmm. I will stop you from doing it and you really get very annoyed. Yeah. Um, so it's always best to let people, you know, let people try it out, let people fail and then you come in and guide them rather yeah. than you teach them from the very beginning. Yeah. And I think I that is also know-how, right? Correct. Because after a few times, you will remember. Yeah, in fact, to add to that, you know, um, Maybe, maybe like what you mentioned, 100%, how, how do we elaborate on 100% involvement? Um, in many of the, I think in many of the trainings that we conducted, I think we always talk about being positive, you know, and being positive. And we, we hear a lot of our leaders are saying that you have to be positive. But from my observation, I found that, you know, um, those that are positive, they are always positive. All right. Those that are negative, it's quite difficult for them to become positive, right? So I'm always thinking about, is there a way to bridge uh, these two groups of the leaders that we have? The one that is positive and the one that is negative. So I say, why don't we talk about be aware instead of be positive or be negative? You have to be aware. That means what I'm trying to say is that when situation happens, whether it's good or bad situations, the leader must actually realize that are they, are they being positive or are they, be, are they being negative? Mm -hmm. By being aware, I found that maybe they will sort of uh, be able to take the next step, you know, to move from being negative to positive. Because you know, scientifically, we know that being positive, there are a lot of these um, positive things that are happening in the body. So they have to realize that being positive is good. Being negative, you generate a lot of enzymes, a lot of hormones that is actually poisonous to the body. So as long as they realize that being negative, there are repercussions, being positive, there are good repercussions. So by being aware that they're in that situation, I suppose the next thing that we have to do differently is to promote, not just being positive. I find it's so difficult to be positive, you know. So being aware, all right? So don't be positive, you don't be negative, just be aware. If you can't be positive, just be aware, all right? I think that would be a good step for us to grow the business, to grow the real leaders in the, in the next probably coming one or two years. Yeah. True. Yeah. I, I think this is this is just what I, I wanted to share, you know, how, how we can grow the business in a, such a big way. Have you ever considered giving up before you reach where you are today as a crown brand ambassador? How did you overcome it? Oh. No, <laughs> never. Okay. <laughs> I think um, I think we're very lucky that, you know, when we started the business, mm -hmm. personally I don't really believe in network marketing. Yeah. Mm. Um, I don't believe we can make money with network marketing and I don't believe in the business model. Um, but what I do believe is the company's mission and it's something that really resonates with me. Yeah. Um, I have been looking for something to do after I close my business, but um, something to do with helping the environment. I think mm -hmm. the two of us, we always talk about that, but mm -hmm. we don't know where to start and we don't know how to do it. So what we did was we just start from home. That means we try to live very minimally. Uh, take, you know, taking steps to just try to reduce wastage and you know, not spend money, simply spend money. So this is, this is one way that you know, we, we were trying to do in, in order to help the environment. Right. But then with Norwex coming in, I think it, 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 just, it, just, blends it just blends in. Yeah. Right. And it's something that we really enjoy doing. Yeah. You know, all these events that we did, Correct. isn't yeah, we, it well, fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like a picnic to me actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. just go there and yeah, enjoy yeah. ourselves and yeah, have fun and yeah, then yeah. meet people and then... And I order Starbucks, I order whatever, you know, I just <laughs> I think we ordering. spend more money. We spend more money yeah, than yeah, what yeah, we yeah, make yeah, from yeah. the sale, right? Correct, right. yeah. yeah. We but, were enjoying, we in fact, we were enjoying yes. talking to people, you know. Not having the real intention of making money, actually. I mean, I wouldn't want to say that, but actually the intention wasn't really there. The intention is so much about sharing, you know, mm -hmm. and enjoying our time together. You know, I, I just remember ordering Starbucks every now and then. Every one hour, I just walk to Starbucks, I order Starbucks and having fun actually yeah yeah and i think that that is um that is very important Correct. when 
when you have your mission very correct, clear, correct. Um, I don't think people will ever give up, correct. right? I mean, when you talk about saving the environment, who would ever give up saving the environment? In fact, talk about visions. Um, in fact, I always like to add on this part about why vision is important. Yeah. Um, you see, when when we when we do a business, any kind of business that we do, yeah. If let's say the perception is always about yourself, I I want to do this, I want to do this. Then after that, you go extend a little bit. You say, I want, I desire to do this. If you really look at it, I want and I desire. It's always about yourself. So when you think about yourself you will realize that you don't have the momentum to go a little bit further because it's always about yourself how far can you go you feel very bored you know because it's always about yourself but when you extend the the vision when you talk about vision if you look at it the vision is never about yourself right it's, it's no longer about yourself yes. the vision is about it's big, it's everybody inclusive. else yeah, so when you talk about inclusive. vision about everybody else you will realize that you have the momentum to move forward and forward and forward right so it's always more sustainable you i found that a lot of people just give up along the way because the idea is always about myself how far can you go when you talk about myself right so i think the vision to we are so lucky i mean i i i, I totally agree with elvina when we went for the launch uh and then when i listened to ying and i listened to brian honestly the picture is still very clear because it's the vision that is actually got me connected, you know, it's the vision because when you get connected to the vision, you can run the marathon because we know this is a marathon business. So you must be able to run the marathon. If you don't get connected to the vision, I'm telling you, honestly, you got to stop, all right? So try to get connected to the vision. Yeah, I, I, I hope that, uh, yeah, this one, the, what, what was the question? Uh, it's about giving up, right? Yeah. If you get connected to the vision, I think you will never think of giving up because it, it's, it's, a longer, it's a longer vision, right? Yeah, you won't, you won't just stop, yeah. You want to pick the next question? Okay, let me pick the third question. Two more questions. Oh, okay, this is, this, is, this is what I always talked about. If there is an instruction manual for new consultants on how to be successful in the business, what would it be? Yeah, you answer it. Lah, yeah, 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 yeah. Since yeah. it's your baby. Yeah, yeah. In fact, um, I, I, I like this, you know, because uh, I, I like this question. In, in Star 20, we actually coined a formula, we call it uh, 1, 2, 3 plus. It's a formula that we keep talking about it over and over again. Why 1, 2, 3 plus here? Yeah? Okay, 1. If, if, if we talk about 1, 2, 3 plus, it's very easy to remember because every time when we talk about it after a presentation, people can remember it's just 1, 2, 3 plus. What is number 1? Number 1 is being 100% user. Why do I say that you have to be 100% user? Alright. I always say that when you are down, use the product. When you are not down, use the product. When you are up, use the product. Okay, this is the only way to grow the business because being connected to the product, you'll be able to grow the business. So this is very important. That means you get to know the product. Okay, what is number two? Everybody knows that this business is all about prospecting. You have to be good at something. If you want to be good at something, good at prospecting because prospecting is the oyster of the whole world for this business. So you have to get good at it, get good at it, good at it, so that you can become... That's a know-how, right? It's a know-how, correct. Know yeah, pro I always talk about prospecting, you have to get good at it. And number three is listing. Okay, why do I say listing? We are very fortunate because when I look at the Norwex program, Norwex has already come up with all the programs, make it available for you to do the listing. That means once you get connected to the FSP, the Fresh, Fresh Start program, the hostess key program and all other program is all about widening your network getting connected to your friend it's all about listing so that you're clear that now your your bandwidth is really really big right so this is one two and three and what is plus okay the plus is the most important thing that i always talk about if you want to race in a f1 car race track what do you need to do you need to change your car you need to have a formula one car you cannot drive your even your bmw it's not possible right if you want to race in the F1 track, you need an F1 car. If you want to do big in this business, you have to enhance your vehicle. What is your vehicle? It's your body, your mind. You need to be able to enhance it. If you are not able to enhance it, you cannot run this. All right? This is a fat F1 formula that we are talking about. Are you talking about personal development? Yeah, I'm coming, back, I'm coming to that. Because to enhance it, how do you enhance it? The only way to enhance it is through personal development. How? Like what you did all the time, you watch the videos. Can you imagine Elvina watch videos 
three hours or four hours when we started the business before she goes to sleep. Can you imagine the kind of knowledge that she actually gathered? Three to four hours of YouTube every day. And the kind of books that she read and I read, you know, we keep reading and we keep actually listening to videos, you know, we watch videos and never miss a meeting. All right? Never, never miss a meeting. A lot of people say, uh, I just want to attend one or two meetings. And you want to do a, you want to build a big business, it's not possible. Come on, be realistic. If you want to build a big business, you have to attend all meetings. I always say all meetings, all right? So this is very important. So for this instruction manual, um, I, I coined it all the time, you know, so it's always one, two, three plus. It's very easier for me, you know, I just, I just, I just talk about it one, two, three plus all the time, yeah. So I, I hope this, um, yeah, this one is, is quite easy I think, for me. Um, I think I need yeah. to add something. Of course, yeah. have a mission, have a purpose. I think that's very important. Correct. If you don't have a purpose, then you know you, you won't even be looking at one two three plus. Correct. Yeah, you have a purpose. Yeah, having a start purpose is very purpose. important. Find yeah. your why. Start Correct. with the purpose. Having a purpose is very important because the purpose will actually be the guiding point. Mm. You know where you're heading. Without a purpose, you don't know where you're heading. Yeah, so that's very important. Okay. Okay. The what last is the question, la oh, last right? question? Okay, okay. I will answer. Oh, okay. What are your aspirations moving forward? Oh, aspiration. Okay. Well, maybe I'll answer part of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think um, obviously is to inspire more people. Mm -hmm. When we first started the business, I have this, um, I have this very simple goal that, um, that you know, I want to Norwex 2 million households. Mm -hmm. So we started with that and then after two and a half years, I think we probably have already achieved that, right? Yeah. Um, not just from our, of course, not just from our network, but you know, from Norwex Malaysia itself. So that's two and a half 2.5 million households and I think moving forward there's also something that you know I would really like to do one day if I ever have a chance um, is um, I think it's something that we both like we, we both wanted to do we, we would like to raise funds to build schools in the remote villages in Nepal and even in India and somehow you know I feel that you know with Norwex we are able to do that maybe we can you know uh, we can even uh, start selling body cloth, body cloth at the tea houses you know when people go for trekking they can actually get grab a body cloth from the tea house and then just donate a certain amount of money and all the money go towards uh, uh, building this uh, these schools because uh, when we were trekking there were no Norwex and um, we find that you know not having to take shower for 10 days is is very very um, uncomfortable yeah. but with the body cloth I think that will easily solve yeah, all, easy. all the problems Correct. right yeah, yeah. so obviously we love to see Norwex growing strongly in Asia yeah. and definitely we want to be Star 20 wants to be part of it yeah in a big way so we will grow together with the company yeah. right yeah maybe maybe I just end and mm. this um, in terms of uh, aspirations yeah you see, when, when we talk about aspiration, it's always about how to help us to move forward a little bit further and further away. Mm -hmm. But I want, to, I, want to, I want to share something a little bit more different yeah, in terms of aspirations. Um, we always talk about dreams, right? I mean, we want them to, we want every, all, all our leaders to achieve our dreams. Yeah? We dream of something, but what happened to us was beyond our dreams, actually. It's, it never, we never thought that it's going to happen this way. So I wish that all our leaders' dreams do not come true. All right? But what I wish that uh, something beyond their dreams will come true. Yeah, something not, you can't even imagine that will come true to you. You, you must dream, but whatever happened to you will be beyond your imaginations. I think that's very important. Yeah, yeah I, I suppose uh, yeah, this is what I, what I always wanted to, to share. Mm -hmm.